Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RDA. This is your Manchester United vs Atalanta match preview. And you know, gentlemen, we sit here after a 3 0 win to Spurs. And I don't know how I feel. I don't know how I feel. I don't know what we're going to do in the future. I don't even know how we're going to approach this Atalanta game. So we will discuss it. Some very interesting things. Obviously, yesterday after the, the game, lots of people, as I expected, to be honest, who. Said Oli out, all these Oli sexual who has just turned Oli out after Liverpool, they're all back. All seeing Oli's right. at the wheel, you know, they're all like, back to manager, you know, maybe we jumped the card, maybe we were That's reactionary. Our That's our manager, we you know. Him. We expected, I expected that, definitely I expected that. But you know what, if that's how you roll, that's how you roll in it. You know, I'm not going to change my mind, I've been here for three years now, saying the same old thing, so you know, it is what it is. And I do think that it's a bit weird, because Roberto cheated out yesterday saying that... Um, Definitely, there was a huge amount of pressure on Oli, as we know. The win against Spurs definitely means that he's going to have the next two games. But it's weird that, you know, that they see Fabrizio still mentioned the next two games, you know. So, if it does go wrong, who's to say the board won't pull the trigger? But I just, you know, personally, I don't feel like they're going to do it. I feel like, you know, the standards are low. Oli can lose the next two, and I think he probably will be safe, you know. He probably will be safe. As for Atalanta, since the last time we played them, gentlemen, just to make you aware... We beat them 3-2. Obviously, they were, we went, they were 2-0 uh, two up. We made a comeback. And they haven't been in the best of form. They drew the next game to Udinese. Then they beat Sampdoria 3-1. Then they drew again with Lazio. And now they're playing us. So it's a bit mi big uh, mixed bag of form. Similar to United. It's just we know how United is now. Also, on my left, yeah, we're going to discuss whether he's going to stick with the back five. Because it was, it was good. It was good. Will he stick with it? Will he make it compact? And is this the way going forward? Or will he revert to the back four? And also, I did not realize this while I did the team sheet. But I realize now, as soon as I went to Twitter again, that Paul Pogba is available for this game. So mm. if he plays this, or if he plays the back four, will Pogba walk back into the team? Because obviously we know Paul Pogba is a massive player. He should be important to us. He wants to be playing every single game. And he's suspended for the other two games. So logically speaking, you surely this is a must game for Paul Pogba to play in. So, yes, subscribe if you're new, smash a like. But yeah, gentlemen, how are your initial feelings, you know, after yesterday's game and then going into this game? Yeah, like before the game and after we heard that he's staying, I felt, oh my gosh, my phone is overheating. Okay. Um, <laughs> I felt a bit powerless, to be honest, because I was like, you know, he's staying. Uh, there's nothing we can do as fans and it is what it is. After the game, I still obviously want him out. But, you know, this is a weird thing about being a, a fan. Like, we won. So, I still want Oli out, but I'm... Overheated. Nice. Oh. <laughs> nice. Well, um, we'll get him back, Clay. I guess you can continue until he's back. Yeah, I kind of get where he's coming from. It's just the case of when we are winning in a fashion that kind of suits us. And just something that we haven't seen in a while. And actually seeing some half decent attacking play even though it was still counter attack football just predominantly as we've always been playing under Ali. I'm still not happy with it, but I get where people are coming from where they are being a lot more appeased by this brand of football. But it's complete park the bus encounter and I'm not for it, especially not at United. And yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm ah, I don't know how to phrase it. It's just it's a mixed bag of emotions. That, that's the best way to put it. It's a mixed bag. Of that's sure. what it is. Yeah. It's limbo. We are all in limbo. We don't know what's going to yeah. happen. Because we don't even know if he's going to continue with it. Mm. We, we straight have no clue whether Oli is going to go, yeah, this back five worked and we're going to keep it now and we're going to see how this goes going forward. Or now we're suddenly going to be playing Pogba left wing again and McFred in a 4 3 one and we're going to have no clue what we're doing once again, and we're going to have to rely on the individual brilliance and a lot of counter-attack. At least when you're playing that back five, that there's a clear plan. Yeah, that's, no, yeah, it's more clear, that's the yeah. difference. It's that's more clear. Significantly more clear. Mm. And I, that that's about the only positive I can really draw from it. It's, I understand what we're trying to do, and we successfully did it. Mm. And in the 4 2 3 on, it's just a mess of a system that he doesn't have a clue what's going on and he tries to fit triangles into circles with Paul Pogba playing on the left wing, Jaden Sancho playing on the left wing, putting Greenwood on the right wing, and yeah, 
just making a mess of this bloody football club. So if he continues with it, it's an improvement, but I still don't think it's of the quality of Manchester United. And that's going to be the issue at the end of the day. Because I don't think we're going to win the league. I think we're going to, we might win the Champions League, admittedly, playing defensive football. That, that's how not this, no, just no, how I'll knockout football chance. works. Yeah. yeah, with knockout football, you can play defensive and you can stand a good chance of winning it. Yeah. But the league, uh, it's so unlikely. I, I, we're probably going to get our asses handed to us by an actual team that knows how to sit back and give us the ball, like a Watford and a Burnley, and we're just going to see just complete confusion from these players. Yeah. So, I think long term this isn't the solution. I don't think this is the way. If you want to a five at the back, use someone who knows how to actually execute the five at the back. And uh, I've been seeing all those uh, Conte memes. <laughs> Why replace me with Conte if I can just become Conte? And it's just a picture of Ollie with the head, yeah. you and I can't. Yeah, and with just regards to the comparison in general, memes are beside it. It's just the beta content, that's all we're getting here. It's one that wants to play defensive football, it's one that wants to play like a relegation style five at the back, versus one that just won the league in Italy and made his team look fantastic. Mm. So, yeah, I think it's it's a good sign, but at the same time, I don't think it's a good enough sign. I think it's too little too late, in a way. I was going to ask you, and I was going to ask my daughter, obviously, because, yeah, but what do you want Oli to do? Do you want him to stick with this and see it out or do, would you want Oli to go back to the 4 2 3 one and die on the hill that he well initially made that is literally the age old question of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer at this point it's, does he continue with something new does he carry on being an experimentalist does he carry on switching things up or does he stick with what has worked in the past and yeah I think when you're using a more narrow system like the five at the back with how we want to play it, uh, it gets his favorites in the team and it gets rid of more so the dead wood that he hasn't figured out how to utilize. Like a Greenwood uh, properly on the wing, like a Sancho properly on the wing, like a Pogba on the wing. He... So I think it benefits him in the way that these players are all going to give 110% every single game for him. And the players that are iffy at this point or that haven't performed well enough are just going to be able to child bench and it's not going to be an issue because they don't fit into the system now. It's mm. suddenly that argument. In fact, you can so, only play now yeah. probably one of Pogba and Bruno. You can't even play Jaden Sancho anyways unless you can play him right wing back yep. or Ted for Bruno. So Ali can be like, listen, if I'm playing like this, you know, he's what it is. But then again, Ali bought those players, you know. Ali wanted Jaden Sancho. Ali wanted you know and now you're just reverting to a whole different system that some fans didn't want because they said what happens to mason what happens to tony to rashford to sancho to tony to pogba and now Audi is going to do it so you know yeah so it, it opens up the store for the excuses and it lets him get away with a lot if he does want to stick with the system so you, um so you'd yeah, want him to I, stay with you'd want him to stay with us i think right now with Getting results, this is going to get more results over the line than going back to the 4 2 3 one. So I, I would say just stick with this for now. But again, this is not the quality of Manchester United, even though this may be our best hope at the moment. Yeah. The Lord just messaged me saying his vote keeps overheating, but we know we'll keep the show going. Personally, to answer my own question, do I want him to stick with this? I don't know. I don't know because no. it looks the best you know I've, for once united looked well coached they looked well organized they looked like they knew they, what they were doing and what the plan was but then spurs tax is a bit weird at the moment now because spurs i do believe were atrocious yesterday they did not have a sniff at our goal but that could be down just because of the way we played you know and when you do play like this and when you do have a run back in the team and now you just proper defend it like you said, I think it'll work. it could work in Champions League because the further you go in the Champions League, the more likely you play higher quality teams. Higher quality teams will come and play and attack you. And what's, yeah. what's one great thing about Manchester United teams? The counter-attack. It will always be a great thing in Manchester United. We know how to counter-attack. We're probably the best counter-attacking team in the world of football. So it will benefit like us like that. And in terms of the league, it probably can grind us results. But like I said, when you play... 
It depends. Like if you play another low block team and you're playing seven, arguably seven defensive players, yeah, what's going to happen? Because the way we've seen it against Spurs, it really wasn't what a back five you know would be. You know, Luke Shaw yeah. and Aaron Basak, well, maybe Aaron Basak is the exception, but they weren't as far forward as you would get. You know, McTominay and Fred weren't as box box as we'd like, you know. So I think maybe after a few coaching training sessions, the back five could get better. I would like it because I w- I'm not going to be a hypocrite. I want Conte to come in and I think Conte would play this, but I think he'd play in a better way, which could accommodate for other players. I don't think Ali would do that. I don't think Ali would think, Let's, let me try Jaden Sancho at 10 instead of Bruno. Let me try him right wing back for this one game, you know, and things like that. So I don't know. I think with the Pogba thing, Pogba can walk straight back into this team and it arguably it probably suits poor Pogba. You know, if you put Pogba instead of one of Fred or Scott McTominay, you don't really need him to defend, really, you know. Obviously, Fred and Scott did a lot of defending when we played Spurs, but you don't really need that when you play the back five now. Pogba can be, he can be kind of freed up now. You know, he can be freed up, so I think Pogba wouldn't mind it if he came back into it and if it's done right. But that's the question now. Can Oli do this and can he do it in the right way going forward? And obviously, I'll have my reservations because it's my opinion. I just don't see it. And like I said, if I do see a good performance with the back five and it works flawlessly against, against Atalanta... Or wherever it may be, GG, he gets the credit and we move forward. The other interesting thing is, obviously, Atalanta also play a back five clip. So if we play the back five, how do you think this game will plan out? Uh, they play difference. an attacking back five. Yeah, that is exactly what you're going to say. Mind. <laughs> they play an actual back five, okay? They are willing to push wing backs up high. They're willing to retain the ball. They're willing to put on attacking pressure. We are just going to sit back and counter the living shit out of them. And now we're, we're just playing to our strengths even more so, especially if we do see the likes of Rashi in this team, where the Italian style of play, which is predominantly slower, Rashi's going to exploit the shit out of it. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's only going to benefit us going with this. Very, very heavy you counter. You don't think like, that oh. it'll benefit Atlanta? Because when you said, when I was thinking, when I read no. your mind, I was thinking, you know what, Atlanta do press high. They are very much attacking. No. If we go toe to toe with them, and I do think United, one thing that you just all you can't do is learn how to play out the press. So if Atlanta match us toe to toe with the formation, and they press us, no. it could end badly. You know. I think. I think the difference now is the quality of player we have is obviously miles clear. I think uh, it's more so the quality of play that Atalanta have versus Spurs have at this moment in time right now. Because we were carved open in the first half. I will continue to say this. That's like the only time Spurs got any chances in the first half. And there were some really, really good chances that they created against us. So do I think that Atalanta is not going to be able to break it? No. But I think they probably will, realistically. I, I think they somehow managed to. But if they have that Spurs mentality after like if the first goal goes in and we get the first goal and they just fall apart again yeah. I think this is going to be a comfortable game I really do because well, that's what the back yeah that's what the back five allows us to do we can just hold hands with our back seven and we can just be like okay try I don't know what you're going to do try we just need one goal that's all we need really we need to play for one yeah, that's our actually, kind of mentality. I do want to yeah. see what the Champions League group points are like we on top with yeah. six points, Atalanta and Villarreal are both on four, and Young Boys are on three. So if we drew this game even with seven, all well, it depends on that result. If they get, if Villarreal win, they get three points, so they'll be on three, uh, seven points with us. Young Boys, if they win, they'll only be on six. So a draw, only well, might take. To be honest, I think you might take a draw, and we're playing away. So he always said, you know, if you win your home games, and you get maybe one good result away from home, you're probably through. You know, which is not the mentality no. we'd like to hear from the manager, but it is right. You know, if you do just win your home games and then get an, a good result, one good result away from home, you you are probably three in the Champions League. So I don't think Oli will be completely disappointed with the draw. But can he afford a draw? That's the question. Because I think that, you know, the way the fan base is, the way lots of people are feeling at the moment, it's like you got to win games. You know, we don't want to see draws. We don't want to see, definitely don't want to see a loss. Otherwise, then your head will definitely... We will be asking for it to get chopped off. A draw, you might yeah. get away with it. Because, like I said, your all sexuals will defend it for life. It could be a dead draw. And they'll be like, you know what? It's not the worst thing in the world. And that's what I think they might do. So, yeah, what do you, do you think Oli might actually even take a point away to Atalanta? It's difficult. Because, again, I think it just goes straight back to mentality. I think if Atalanta are willing... 
and are ready if they go a goal down to carry on attacking. I think they're more than in this. I think they could definitely take the points off of us. I think we could be looking at a draw or a loss if Atalanta come in with the right mentality. Because again, I on stress this enough, us defensively is not well coached at all. With seven people at the back, I was still fearful every time Son was on the ball. Every time Son was on the ball and he tried to pop a shot, <laughs> as much as he couldn't hit the target to save his life. Nobody could hit the target to save his life. Nobody could hit the target at Spurs. And that's just the difference right now. I think if we allow the same opportunities, if we look at that performance and go, this is the blueprint for how we're going to play from now on, and we give those chances to Atalanta, they're going to bury them. And they proved that the last time we faced them. They are elite finishers. And you give them these chances, they're going to put them away. We're going to need a De Gea masterclass, not him in our lawn chair right now, to save us. So yeah. I do think Atalanta has every right to win this game. I think they have more than enough chances. And we're going to give them those chances. We're definitely going to give him this chance. Maguire's going to make a mistake. Victor's going to make a mistake. Maybe Varane's at 100%. Maybe we even see Varane slightly injured. I don't know right now. I don't know if he's going to play. Um, but uh, if we carry on like this, we're going to need to just hold hands with them and quite literally just form a giant circle and hope they can't get through. And if we can perform that and have their mentality drop, if we can somehow drop their mentality, we win this game. But that that's also coming from a very optimistic standpoint right now. Okay. And yeah. how would you feel if Oli did go back to four two three one? The classic, you know, cl- Oli's classic. You know what it is. Brian Maguire, Aaron, then Pogba comes back. I don't know whether he plays in midfield or left wing because I think McFred will play. So arguably, but Rashford's back, so he might even play right wing. It's gonna be a mess because, like I said, if if he's gonna yeah. play Paul Pogba in the team, yeah, he probably walks. He should. We should walk in straight for either Fred or Scott McTominay. But if we play 4-2-3-1, I doubt he might put Paul Pogba again in the purple because I don't know if Oli can afford to take that risk at the moment. Because if it goes badly, it's going to go badly. You know, so how would you how would you feel if you, you know, if we've seen that? Yeah, I, I can agree with that. And it's, it's a difficult situation because, again, Paul Pogba is a fantastic player and on his day, he's genuinely one of the best to ever touch a football he's basically in that conversation especially in regards to midfielders he's on that level and he's always been on that level and right now i don't know what kind of Paul Pogba we're going to get firstly Mm -hmm. and i think ollie's very like hyper aware of that at the moment with his job on the line um, posting on social media though you know he's clearly watching the game yeah. Celebrating all the goals. Like I said, I don't yeah. think I don't think poor Pogba wants to be in this situation. I just think poor is like me. He's just honest. Like you know, if I was at United right now, yeah, I will run through a brick wall for United. But like, I'm not going to be a blind blind to the fact that I'm like you know at Ollie's yeah, we're not coached good. The team isn't good enough. You know, well not well they're not coached good enough. And you know, yeah. I ideally I wouldn't want to sign the contract until I see change. Yeah, and that's the thing right now and. As much as he loves this club, I think that's clear. He's literally an academy boy. We love Paul. Mm. Paul's always been a red, regardless of what he did at Juventus. He's been at United forever, really. And yeah, he's done everything that he can, and he's shown spectacular moments. Guy still has more assists than games he's played right now at this current stage in the season. And a lot of them are stat pads, but still, like... Oh, how do you do that? He has more assists than Kevin De Bruyne has had like in the past two seasons at this rate. Yeah. And yeah, that's just some De Bruyne standard. But uh, I think he should be walking into this team, especially at the five at the back. You've literally got five defenders. You should be allowed to play Bruno and Pogba going a bit more forward and somebody to hold the hand instead of two holding the hands mm-hmm. to make it a I seven at thinking, the back. I was thinking, you know, even if yeah. he does go back to the 43-1 and he plays Paul Pogba, what's still going to happen to Jadon Sancho, you know? Because if we're going to pull pull Pogba on the wing, that definitely means both Jaden Sancho and then Greenwood won't play. And don't even get me starts on a Martial. Because Martial's wife, oh, she's been spilling all the beans. He's like, Martial hasn't been injured. He's been sick maybe for one week. Other than that, he's completely fine. He's proper being left out. You know, we have Ted that's posting on social media saying good things come to those who work for it with the, you know, the zip close emoji. And then he doesn't get selected for the squad. So I do think there are players in this. It's United now who are not happy with the situation and I wouldn't blame them you know I don't blame him so I think Oli 
Oli is very much in a way. It's like it's the last. It's the la- it's the last stand for Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Not the last dance. But it's the last stand. He's gonna he's gonna literally die on the hill. Whether it's at anyone's cost. Whether that meant Jaden Sancho left tomorrow. Whether that meant Donny yeah. Pogba leaves tomorrow. As long as he's in the job, I don't think Oli Gunnar Solskjaer cares about Manchester United's future. As long as he gets the job done in the way he can trust, I don't think it matters to be honest. So. Obviously, I think that's um, that's one concern. The other concern is, I would say, well, not really a concern, but if we were to not get a result against Atalanta, do you think the board might think, because they said three games, and I must say, if they said three games, you had to save your job. If he does not get a result against Atalanta, is there any chance his head is getting chopped off? I hate answering the sack question because <laughs> nobody knows. I don't think uh, you're ever getting like I don't care. Yeah. I, I've given up hope. <laughs> you can get smacked 10 0 to Atlanta yeah. this week, 10 0 to City next week. I'll be like, I no, guys, he's going to stay here. Don't get it. I'm not even getting excited anymore. It's almost yeah, like the Bruno right. thing. The time we went to Bruno, I think I was like, I could not wait for it. And then we choked it. And then even when the second time where we actually signed Bruno with the rumors coming out, I didn't buy anything. I was on the social media. I didn't care for Pritzu. I said, here we go, anything. I'm like, no, no, no. I don't believe it. And then. Obviously, Bruno came, so I just, that's how I am, but yeah, sorry. I didn't yeah, exactly. get <laughs> yeah, but I agree at that standpoint. It's just if Atalanta smack us and City smack us, I have all the faith in the world that Oli's going to stay at the job. He won one out of the three, and that was the bare minimum, and he got it. And you may as well just be rewarded with another five year deal, in all honesty, from the board. I, I think it's grand incompetence. Yeah, I got, <laughs> yeah, I, I just. Don't see him leaving anytime soon. It'd just be it, a right would, thing to do, wouldn't it? Um, it would right now. You We'd wanted, have to actually you wanted Poch. The last time he was good, close to the sack like this, we wanted Poch. And we were like, let's give him one more game. Let's give Oli one more game. We won that game, went on the run, Poch went, and he got another job. Now, exactly. same thing. Conte, he's there. He wants the job. He'll sign it. No problems. Let's give Oli a few more games. Oli wins the game. And we could miss out on Conte. If Conte goes to Tottenham or something, I would be heartbroken. I would be heart- I'd be like, that's two class managers now that we've missed out on. So, like I said. But yeah, I agree Ooh. with you. The incompetence is ridiculous. If we lost the next two games, it would not be surprised to me. If he's hurt his yeah. It would have to be on the Liverpool level if we are to get him sacked. Both of those games would have to be Liverpool level losses of like 5 no or so oh. for the board to consider it, I think. Yeah. And yeah, they'll probably wait till at the end of the international break anyway to make their decision if they are going to sack him and the manager's going to be in a position where they have one day to prep at the game mm. and it's going to be a mess. So yeah, we'll have to see how it goes, but I have no faith that he's leaving. Okay. And then obviously, because this is a Champions League game, I must emphasize, I do not want to lose this game. Try, or you, best, but like I said, I'm here for Ronaldo and vibes at the moment until Oli is gone. I love the, some of these players. I love a lot of these players, actually. But I don't want to lose this game. Europa League and me, no, we can't do this anymore. I, 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 no, no, I can't, we can't, guys. We can't be sitting here Thursday evenings with you guys, as much as we love it. <laughs> we can't be sitting here Thursdays all together as a family, talking about Cristiano Ronaldo and Champions League for Iran, the Europa League. Okay, that is something we cannot have, okay? So this week, this week we have to win this game. <laughs> this week, we have to win this game. I do not want to be sitting back in the, in the Europa League. So Champions League games, always for me, the best competition. I would want to win this game. I think we have to win this game because... And I think the players, even if they did not feel anything about Oli, if they thought, you know, Oli's not the guy, let's throw him under the bus, I think the players will know, you know what? We are some high-class professionals. We don't want to be playing in the Europa League. Similar to the last time we played at the Lens. I think the, that wasn't about throwing Oli under the bus. That was about dignity. The players are like, no, guys. <laughs> we are not going back to Thursday night football. And I think that's why... I don't think the players will throw him on the bus. I don't think the this team here, especially if he picks that, I don't think any of them will throw him under the bus. So, with that and Champions League, definitely no sabotage gonna happen. I I fully expect the players to be behind him. I fully expect the players to give a hundred percent, and I I don't blame them for it because you know they don't want to look like the bad guys. They don't want to look like they're not professionals, and I respect that from the players. Like I said, I got no problems with the players. I love a lot of them. Probably the arguably. My favorite Manchester United team since the Alex Ferguson days, so happy days with it. Anyways, moving on to this team selection. The hair will be in goal. Um, we're going to assume it's the back five because logically speaking, which means he probably won't it. Logically speaking, the system worked, Oli. The system worked 
The players looked good, well coached. They looked like they knew what the plan was. And we won the game. The high pressure situation game, we won. So why would you change the winning system? I don't know. It's a very early thing to do, but I don't know. So stick with it, Ali. So I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this. So they are there. No problems with the with the back five and the Oli. It was and the Conte, obviously, like I said, I would expect Tellers to come in definitely for sure. But yeah, any problem with the back five? Would you change anything at the back five? Um, for me, I, I just like know. one of the centre back probably get dropped. Luke Shaw comes in the butt and put in Tellers. Yeah, maybe something like that. I'm not sure, but I uh, I think I'm just gonna stick to his guns. I'm not expecting anything too different. Mm. Yeah, I think the back is basically going to be unchanged. Yeah. Now, the midfield is interesting because Paul Pogba is not suspended. So he should play. He should he's play. Not playing. He's not playing. But I also don't think he's going to play. I don't think Ali trusts Paul Pogba. And I think that's why Pogba, you know, as much as he said it's fake news and stuff, I do believe there's a part of Paul Pogba where it's like, you know, if Ali's going to be manager, obviously I'm not mm. going to sign the contract. I want to go win things, you know. I'm, with, I'm coming towards the end of my career, so I need to I need to get what I, whatever's left in me the best out of it so yeah i expect mcfred to play ollie himself said that i don't know if you've seen the comment but yeah. he said scott mctominay was the man of the match by a mile that was the exact right. words out of ollie gonna Solskjaer's mouth and i was just there like you see this is the problem this is the problem with united uh scott mctominay yesterday was man of the match by a mile he might have been good but i gave him a seven dropped it down to a six just because of the dizzy moment for the bands but by a mile, Oli. I don't yeah. understand. And then, like, yeah, so, yeah, you can say something. Yeah, even, uh, um, where was it? Let me go look at some stats here. This is ridiculous. Okay. This guy only made 36 passes. Who, Scott? Yeah, 36 all game. Um, half of them were in the own half. <laughs> he put three long balls, zero key passes, Nearly 64 it. touches. He nearly got a great assist yesterday if Ronaldo was on offside. That's what I can remember. Yep. Um, he won 11 duels. He lost 7. He lost Imagine having an opportunity of 18 duels and not even winning the half of them. Okay. He made 2 clearances, 1 head clearance. He blocked a shot. Hmm. He tripled 3 times. He was dispossessed once. He conceded 3 fouls. He attempted 4 tackles, conceded only 2. He only won one aerial. He made one interception and six recoveries for the entire game. And that's the man of the match performance. By a mile. Not, not by a mile. Match. Man of the match by a mile. Yes, after that CR7 performed. Yes. <laughs> man of the match by a mile. After, after, that, the, Alan after the Bruno performed. performance as well. And the Cavani performance by a mile. Ronaldo nearly made as many. Ronaldo made 23 passes all game. You know how <laughs> sad that is? That, that Scott isn't even like... Yeah, oh, we've only got, oh, well, yeah, we got three yeah. midfielders, but we've got two main midfielders that's in the pivot, so we want them yeah. to be a bit more vital, but yeah. Ali Gunnar Solskjaer, so I don't think he's going to drop them. I think we've seen, this is his midfield. This is Ali's midfield. Whether we like it, whether we don't, this is Ali's best midfield in his eyes, and he's going to die by McFred. He will live and die by McFred, you know, so that's it regardless. I think Bruno will play, because why not it's Bruno? Now, I put Rashford there because yeah. I think Rashford might play because it was a bit strange not seeing Rashford on a team sheet for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And the reason <laughs> why was because Ole said that the training after the Liverpool game, the first training back, he said in his whole 18 years at Manchester United, he has never seen a training session better than Edison Cavani's. And I was like, okay, fair enough. We rewarded him. I respect that. And, you know, some people will say, there we go. It's another brilliance of Ole's man oh. management. But we also know that Ahmad, Teles, Dali, Bai, Sancho, they all train extremely well, but they never get picked. So how Come much on, truth there is into that? Exactly. How much truth there is into that? I don't know. If you like Ali, you're gonna you're gonna praise him for it. If you don't like Ali, you're gonna hate him for it. You know, you're gonna make you're gonna point out the other the reasons why it's not so good and why you can't take it to heart. But yeah, do you think Cavani will play again? Because it's a bit. This is where we get into the yeah. situation. We know Ronaldo can do because he's just a, he's a different type breed of man. But Cavani to do it again, I don't know. I would love Tony or Mason yeah. to get. Well, actually, no, I love Tony to get an opportunity, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, Tony's not getting an opportunity. You can close that door immediately. Uh, if I see Tony's on the bench, you know. uh, yeah. 
I would I wouldn't be surprised if he just told his head, oh, his wife. And yeah, as they they can chat shit all they want, you know. I love it. But um th- there's a part of me that says Ali just doesn't give up on his favorites, even if it is the injury prone Edison Cavani. Because as soon as Cavani hit form last season, he played and he played and played until he dropped, quite literally. Mm-hmm. So I think we're going to see the same thing. I think we're going to see Cavani run Alto up front for this game. Okay. Yeah, and then obviously we'll just wait for Maloto to come back. All right, so we got Maloto back. Uh, Maloto, a few things, you know, just so you can have your part for the show. Um, one okay. would be, is Oli going to stick with the back five? And would you want him to? Or do you think he will revert back to, you know, the old formation? Two, does Paul Pogba play this game? And then obviously three, you know, just what you think is going to happen against Atalanta. And if it goes bad, do you think there's a possibility that he gets the sack? Uh, he must stick with the back five. If he doesn't, I don't know what he's trying to do. You know, he's trying to pull the wool over our so eyes or what is going on. Five. I want him to get sacked. <laughs> but I guess that's the next best thing. That's <laughs> 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 the next best thing, I guess. And... I think he will. Long term, I don't think so. I think, um, I mean, four, three games after this, he will probably go back to the 4 2 3 one. Or maybe on the weekend against Man City, who knows? But I do think he will stick with the back five in this game. And yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. I think, I think Paul Pogba should play because, you know, once again, not playing Paul Pogba, it says a lot about you as a manager, you know? Like, if you can't play one of the best players in the world, who are you? And why are you at Manchester United? And look, it can work in the system because I'm just going to try and analyze it for the system's sake, not because of my Oli agenda. Move that aside now. If we can work on being better in the transition and work on holding the ball better and using more effectively, things we've been saying for months that never come to fruition, but we'll keep saying them. If we can do that, and let's say we play Pogba in that pivot next to, I guess, a Fred, I guess, a Scott, mm-hmm. then it can work because those long balls, especially against a team like Atalanta, can be very effective with Rashford's pace. And on top of that, we won't be as vulnerable defensively uh, because we are playing a three at the back. So Fred can be a bit more secure and can express himself a little bit more. So theoretically, this can work. And I think Ole is going to have to do that. I think if he did play the 4 2 3 1, he'd be shooting himself in the foot mm. because we'll be going straight back to being vulnerable, McFred not knowing what to do. So he will stick oh. with it. Can I add on to your point with the three at the back with Pogba there? Mm. Yeah. So uh, basically, what Conte likes to do is he likes to have somebody drop deep and pick up the ball from defense. And if you have someone like Scott who's willing to drive up and down the pitch like he does, I think he's going to be fantastic at that job of picking up the ball from the defense, driving a little bit, and playing it forward to the Pogba or the Bruno who can just take the ball wherever they need, pinpoint accurate. And from a tactical side, that that just perfects your midfield. You've got everything you need. Mm. And Maloto, before you you went on the show earlier, but I told Clay, if you do not know, this is exact words from Oliver Sosha. Scott McTominay was man of the match by a mile against um, Tottenham. So yeah, just a, just a second through that. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, Oli clearly was watching a different game because if we had to vote for worst man on the pitch, it would have been Scott McDominay in that game. So yeah, it's an X. Look, I think Oli has a little bit of an opportunity here because if you can make this system work, you know, people can say, well, why are we getting Conte? You know, Oles Conte. <laughs> you yeah, know, people can say that. That's the memes. That's the memes at the moment. It's like, you know, I'm going to get sacked for Conte. I'll bring the Conte to you, you know? That's what Oles doing. <laughs> yeah, you know, I like, as much as I don't like this formation, because as I've stated yesterday, I want the the width, the you know, United way. But for a team that's struggling defensively, it's always, three at the back is always the answer, you know? Because you get the balance of being able to be good in transition, but um, being solid defensively. So... I guess this is the formation we need to play with, especially now Logan Solskjaer because of his lack of tactics mm. and because we don't have a DM. So, yeah, we'll see. And in terms of what I think will happen in the game, I think we'll beat Atalanta. I think we will. I think they're just way too vulnerable at the back. I think they give up too much space. And if we're organised as we are against Spurs defensively and on the transition, we've got Ronaldo linked up with Bruno and Rashford, I think we could destroy them on the counter, honestly. So... With that in mind, I just don't see him losing his job. I think we're going to win this game. I think we might even beat Man City come the weekend. I think Ole is here to stay for a bit. Okay. But if we were to um, slip up 
do you think there's any chance he gets fired? Because I was telling Clay, you know, it's still no. weird that people like Fabrizio and say pe- other people are saying that the, the two games he still got he's definitely here for the next two games, but no mention of anything after that. I want to make this point before my phone decided to overheat. Um, I was going to say that I, I agree with you in that sense because, as I said yesterday, you know, they are looking for a manager. I mean, I don't think, as stupid as this board is, and as much as I don't understand football, we took five to our biggest rival, you know? So even for them, I think that's impossible to ignore. So I do think they will be contacting people. And I do think if it gets to a point where they just can't do it anymore, if he, like, loses to Man City and then goes on to lose to... Uh, what was next? Chelsea. I'm forgetting who's after that. Or Watford. Yeah. And he loses three games on the bounce. They, they will fire him. I think yeah. they will. Also, I just realized my camera is inverted. So I'm not going to write down the scores. Because, you know, we'll just, we'll just give our score predictions. Because it's inverted. But, <clears throat> yeah. Score predictions, gentlemen. Um, is anyone feeling particularly confident in their score predictions this week? Good job. Hey, you guys can go first today. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll go first. I guess I'll go first. <laughs> I think, yeah. logically speaking, like I told Clay, he logically he has to play the back five. Like he has to play the back five. It worked so well. I'd be very surprised he doesn't play the back five for as long as he can rinse this formation. He, I think he should play the back five. I think he should put Paul Pogba back into the team. And I think, like I said, if we play a back five, Paul Pogba doesn't have to do as much defending as he usually has to do in the pivot in the four two three one. And I do think that we can win this game. I do think we can win this game. And, uh, yeah, I think, like Malot just said, to be honest with you, we're just, we're just going to be stuck with Ali for a very long time. So, I think we can win this game. And you have Cristiano Ronaldo, like I said, he just he doesn't let off this guy. So, I predict 3-1. I think Atalanta very much like a, like a lead. So, they could be very open at the back. So, 3-1 to United, obviously. Yeah. Um. Okay. I'll go. I'll go. Um. The things with Oli. If he loses, he's, then, he's, no, I'm not surprised. Also. Thank you. <laughs> they go Oli. He won't then say, okay, we're playing the back five now or the back three, and I feel that uh, it didn't my my system didn't work. We'll move on to this, and let's just try to get the best out of this. What I think Oli's going to do, he's going to play it against Atalanta. He'll play it against Man City, and then Cameron Watford is going to switch to the four-two-three-one. Then other, another big game will switch to the back five. And a smaller game, which is four two three one, which we've seen him do in the past, you know, where he's switching between formations, or we're calling him Tinker Man, and I think Tinker Man uh, is gonna be back now. That's <laughs> so annoying, because just pick one and make the best out of it, and the players can be comfortable with that. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing coming with Ali, and so this this game, I think playing the back five will save us, because I think we'll be so compact and it will be good in the transition, and. I think it'll be probably similar to the game at Old Trafford, you know. At the end of the day, we might concede goals, but we will score more than them. They'll get tired and we'll win. Okay. If we play the fourth at the back, I send the Leipzig game. If we play a fourth at the back, because I think they're going to bring on so much pressure and then our defense is going to crumble and we'll take four. So, Ole, please play the fourth at the back. <laughs> I was telling Claire, I actually don't want to lose this game. I can't be asked if Champions League Ryan and Ronaldo in the Europa League. <laughs> Mm, okay, I guess, I guess. So, with that in mind, I'm going to go for 2 0 United. 2 0. Okay, no, Clean two shit, one. back to back. 2 1. Okay. 2 1. Two one. Two one United. Yeah. Right now, uh, I'm in the same mindset as Malta. I think my initial thoughts before I saw the back five yesterday was we're going to get smacked by Atlanta. It's going to be exactly like the Leipzig game. We got lucky, we got away yeah, with it. Got... And now they're going to turn up the damn gas and just smack us. If we play the four at the back, I'm full belief they could put, put, put ten past us. I, it's going to be that kind of game if we play the four at the back. If we play the five at the back, we're still going to concede chances because we were nowhere near airtight until Spurs' mental fall off the bloody roof. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I, as long as we are conceding chances, their mental is strong. We'll be able to concede goals. It's simple as that. So I don't think a clean sheet is on the table. Considering Spurs didn't have a single shot on target. With the nine shots they had, I think it was, in total. The Atalanta are putting those away. That's a different team right now. So I could definitely see them winning this. It's just a matter of how many we can put past them in return. And I think with our current counter-attacking style, this is only emphasizing it even more and only benefiting us more on the counter. 
So I think we probably edge it, but it's going to be one of those entertaining end-to-end -end games for any neutral, but we're going to be the edge of our seat going, what is wrong with you, Ali? Why are you giving us heart attacks every step of the way? Then Ronaldo's going to go pow to make a 3-2 in the 90th minute. And he's going to see to the three, three. away. 3-2. Okay, 3-2. I'll see at the end, huh? Last minute. So again, so reverse. It's just a double, double. We did 3-2 again, and then we're going to do it again now. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I'll tell you what, that's the other thing. If we are drawing at any point, or... Yeah, I think if we, if we are drawing at any point, and there is one second left, if that falls at Ronaldo's foot, I would, I, would, I would back it. I back it, because that's what he does, you know. If we, yeah. are in a, if we are in a drawing situation to win the game, Ronaldo will come save you, most likely. He's done it so many times already this season, and he's done it the whole time in his career. So, yeah, I think, you know... The quality of players are so good, and I think they, that's the only reason I'm really on it. Cause like I just know the quality of players are so good that it's like impossible to just be so shite and then get sacked. You know, just how it is. So, anyways, games come thick and fast again. We go and see what happens on Tuesday. I think if we lose though, well, it's the, I think we're just back then. You know, it's like jump on the line once again you know let's see how it is against City I think that's what it'll be like I think even a draw maybe not entirely safe because City will definitely mean a little bit more then so let's just see what happens let's see what Oli does on Tuesday and let's yeah like I said you know I want to win this game personally because yeah the Europa League and I know we can't we can't we can't anyways is there anything else you guys want to say I will see. We'll see. It'll be interesting. Uh, according to Oli, we, we don't even really need to win this game because he keeps saying that, you know, oh, yeah, no, you need to win. Yeah, yeah, that's how he keeps off. <laughs> he keeps saying you need to win. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Like, who says that? Especially as a manager Manchester United. So, yeah, yeah I guess Oli would be okay with the draw. Okay. Clay, you yeah. want to say anything? It's just, let, let's see what system Oli decides to use and that will determine everything now. Just to the T, really. Okay. If we play the back four, I expect to get smacked. If we play the back I five, think so. I think we've played back four. Magic. We could be in trouble. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, gentlemen, let's see what happens Tuesday. We will be there with you guys in spirit and obviously <laughs> on the match reaction, you know. So subscribe if you're new, smash the like on the video. Happy Halloween if you celebrate Halloween. If not, um, you don't like Halloween, I'm sorry. It is what it is. It tells me there's more scary times at Old Trafford than, you know. Than, this holiday alone mm -hmm. so anyways yeah. see you soon subscribe smash a like and check you all later goodbye